Hello everybody, Adam here from Arctica Solar and welcome to a review of an air heater not made by Arctica Solar, but one that we found online being sold on Amazon and thought we'd purchase it and give it a look. Now this is the Nanco Solar Air Heater Collector OS20, uh, 51 reviews here on Amazon, $390 including delivery, which is nice. It comes in two sizes, we got the OS20 size. Uh, which in fact is not an intake exhaust heater. It is a ventilator. It draws fresh air from outside, heats it with an absorber panel, and then delivers that into a space. Comes with a LCD thermostat and a, a vent. Um, visit the store page here where you can see a bit more description about the heaters that Nanco Air makes. And... Um, some advertised features. Yes, so we thought we'd buy this unit and give it its paces and see what we think. Now, just for size comparison, we have a, a model of the Nanco heater here on the left and uh, Arctica Solar's 1500 series heater on the right. And it is a smaller unit, which means less heat, but we won't hold that against it. Uh, but just for comparison's sake here, we wanted to show this graphic. Okay, so starting to unbox in the larger box it came in, uh, we pull out the interior box, and right away we see some damage. This is not great, uh, and in fact it did damage the heater. Um, but we're going to plow ahead, take the heater out of its interior box, slide it out. It is well packaged except for the damage. Comes with plenty of accessories starting with the LCD thermostat which is a cute unit out of the box there. It comes with a whole saw kit which is definitely useful in routing ducting. And it comes with a exhaust um, in indoor cover with a motorized damper assembly. Problem with our motorized damper assembly, however, is that the wiring was completely sheared off, and so that wasn't going to work, and it's in fact the main reason for our return. The other thing is the wiring harness on this heater is quite beefy, so if you're routing through finer spaces, it could be difficult. But anyways, uh, we're going to unpackage the heater fully, and put it on our table here and get it ready for some testing. But before that, we look to see if there's any damage additionally on the unit. And we notice that the intake for the vent screen is misplaced. That's not great. Um, otherwise, the heater looks pretty clean. It's got some spots on it that have been touched up with paint, you can tell. And it is an interesting design. It is a uh, interior absorber with the black paint. The PV panel to power the fan is interior to the heater, and air actually passes up the front and back of the absorber. So we set up for some testing. We put all of the bits that came with the heater outdoors, thermostat, exhaust cover, and the heater itself. And it is a clean looking unit. So no problems there. Just a complete 360 tour of the product. The duct tape for the intake of the wiring harness is not great, and in fact was a problem. Um, the other issue that we next ran into was when we plugged in the LCD thermostat, we just could not get it to work. The heater just would not work with the thermostat. The thermostat had a very dim face. It's a, it was a cute thermostat. It didn't work. The buttons didn't work terribly well. I would say just functionally not all there. Now, this may have had something to do with what looked like hot glue used to hold the wiring harness together. Either way, we still wanted to test the heater, so we ended up shorting the power to the fan, and we did get the fan turn on. So the measure of any solar air heater is how hot does it get? Put the heater outside and decided to take it for a spin. Uh, 73 degrees outside on the ambient, let it warm up for a little bit, and really the biggest complaint with this heater overall is it just doesn't get that hot at 81 degrees uh, exhaust. 
In summary, the Nanco solar air heater that we reviewed, uh, unfortunately, we cannot recommend. The heater and some of its subcomponents, such as the damper assembly, arrived to us damaged in the packaging. The LCD thermostat control did not work for us. It was quite hard to see the display, and configuring it was, was we just didn't know how to configure it. It was not clear at all how to configure it. Uh, the heater did not get hot enough to really be useful, we believe, to anyone looking for solar air heating. Some positive things, it did have a great price point, and it was reaching for a lot of functionality. It was aspiring to a lot of functionality. Uh, I think, unfortunately, it didn't quite meet those aspirations. That being said, it was a good-looking heater, um, and Artica and the team here will continue to keep our eyes peeled for other heaters in the marketplace. We first and foremost want to support solar air heating as an option for those looking to supplement with renewable heating, whether it's our design or not. So we're happy to take a look at any, any design and see and offer some thoughts and analysis. If you have any questions for us, you can feel free to email us at the address here or visit our website. And we thank you for watching.